today. Um, perhaps we can start patching him through the boy thriller and see if we can get some vocals before we introduce this very popular Canadian duo. I want to see if I got them through here. Hey guys, are you with us? Yeah, we're here. Can I you hear us? So. All right. So without further ado, we have Ed the Sock and of course, Liana K. Welcome guys. Thank you for calling in. Yo, yo, yo. Glad to be here. <laughs> you just did that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I have to start off by saying it's an honor actually to have you call in, Ed. You know, we, both myself and Alive and a lot of Canadians actually that are tuned into this program right now grew up watching you on Much Music. I remember getting in trouble. Oh for yeah, that, for sneaking you know I mean? watching Ed the Sox. So. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, really. Listen, I'm uh, glad to have contributed to your delinquency because actually here you are, you know, being productive in the media, putting forward your personalities. So if I had anything to do with that, I'm proud. Respect. Thank you very much, Ed. Um, so we got a couple questions we wanted to ask you, um, you know, before we get to, of course, as we like to say here on uh, in Radio Land, the shameless plug, you guys are going to be doing a really cool stop here in the nation's capital, Ottawa, that's going down tomorrow at Mavericks. Uh, but before we get down to the nitty gritty, um, War on Stupid is the tour and, and, and you guys have been doing this for a long time. You know, and my my first question is, you know, how how do you uh, maintain, you know, being so relevant, especially nowadays, right? Technology's crazy. The kids are crazy. Trump's oh, yeah. Trump's the president. How do you maintain, you know, that 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 wave of being relevant? God, I I don't I don't know how to answer that. I mean, the jokes write themselves nowadays. You just, like, check a news app on your phone and it's wall-to-wall comedy if you have the right perspective on it. Sure. I mean, I think, you know, uh, having a sense of humor is a life skill. Um, and if you can't laugh at something, you don't have perspective on something. So it's sort of just like, you know, day-to-day -day life. You, you got to keep your spirits up. You got to stay optimistic, and comedy is a great way to do that. I mean, listen, uh, as far as relevance goes, I have always been the person here. You say, hey, Ed the Sox says what I'm thinking, but uh, I can't say. Well, we're in a time now when people get piled on for asking the wrong question, using the wrong word. Uh, the, the dialogue has just been beaten up. And uh, it, you need more than ever the voice of reason to step forward and cut through all the BS and talk about what's what. On the right, the left, both sides are insane. They set themselves on fire. They're like circus freaks. And <laughs> somebody has to be stepping in there and saying, okay, enough of this crap. Let's talk about what's really real. Opinion is fine. Spin is fine. But we got to talk about facts. And we got to point out the fact that the world has just gotten stupider around us. And oh, because yeah. it's happened gradually, most people haven't noticed how dumb it is. Now, if I if I may, because uh, I've always considered myself an official brother, um, the fact is that uh, when you talk about people of color, people of color see stupid around them far more, I think, than, than white people. Because when you're an observer, when you're one step out from being the mainstream, you can recognize the BS better than those who are right in the, in the thick of it. So I think you guys probably recognize the BS about the same way that we do. And Liana grew up in Jane and Finch in Toronto, which is mm. a largely Caribbean commu community. Oh, uh, say no more. We know, we know that area really all well. too well. Okay, I grew up, if you know the area, I grew up right off Tobinmore Drive, like right from the Jane Finch Mall. Okay. So, you know, that, that sort of, I remember being in school and kids telling me, these are brilliant, brilliant, smart, smart kids. And they were like, you can get out. We can't, you need to use your voice. And that was both very humbling and extremely depressing because in high school, people were already giving up and putting their hopes in someone else. Yeah. And you know, that, that, that alters, that impacts your perspective for life. Now, now I gotta ask you guys: Do you guys ever hesitate to speak about certain topics? And if so, what are like what what could these topics not maybe? He hesitate, yes. Avoid it, no. I think. Okay. Um, yeah, I sort of the only hesitation I have is I stop myself when I when I'm gonna react to say do I do I know enough about 
what I'm talking about? Um, am I just buying into some meme online? Uh, I hesitate to make sure. I know exactly. I've done some critical thinking before I weigh in. Whereas that's the problem today. People just react. They just say things to get a reaction out of somebody. They say things to, to, to tick somebody off. They're, they're not really thinking. And so my only hesitation is, do I know the facts? And can I stand behind my comment on this? And once that's okay, away I go. I don't think there's any topics that are off, uh, you know, off limits. And I don't think comedy should be off limits on certain topics. It's all about how you use it. You know, it's kind of like a male penis, you know? It's, it's all about <laughs> how did you I use it, those? man. <laughs> yeah, I guess sounding ignorant is one thing. Speaking for somebody else, I guess, is the other line. Why do you guys, why do you guys, why, like, how do you guys feel about, you know, being the leaders in 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 this uh in this war you know what i mean like well, somebody's got to do it you know, <laughs> nobody else was stepping up yeah I, uh, I left much music uh 10 years ago and uh you know i remember when we left city tv the the guy at city tv the new owner said we're looking for the next ed the sock and you know what that went about as well as oj looking for the real killers <laughs> um, there's been absolutely nothing. Nobody stepped forward. That's Canadian true. media has clamped down and has become, in general, the mainstream has become more conservative than ever. Stuff that we could put on TV 10 years ago in the afternoon or even in the, you know, in the evening, you couldn't put it on TV today at all. That's and nice. you might get piled on if you put it on the Internet. We've just become so close-minded. Uh, we're going to uh, pry open people's closed minds with a crowbar of humor. Yeah, but if you get piled on, who cares? The pile on means people know you're out there. That's power in itself. That's true. So well, from I suppose so, but do you really? Some people just say things to get piled on because yeah. they want people to know they exist. Yeah, I, and, I you know, exist, so I get piled on. Yeah, like, that's people, the thing. idiots eating Tide Pods. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a lot of uh, a lot of you know syndromes, a lot of mental health issues. I don't want to take this uh, conversation in 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 in, in, in a too deep a direction, but it has a lot to do with that. You know, there's a lot of factors, and people are just beyond watered down stupid. How do, okay, this is officially one of the smarter interviews we've done now. Kudos to you guys. No yeah, doubt. And, awesome. and you know, the thing, the funny thing is Thrilla, he, you know, sometimes you know, we're on radio. People can't see what's going on, right? So sometimes it's college radio. I forget. There's boundaries. We are still governed by the CRTC. So sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I go off on a tangent and Thrilla's like elbowing me. Nobody sees. We're off the air and he's, you know, he's slicing his hand across his neck like, yo, shut, it, shut up, shut up. <laughs> don't talk about that, CRTC. dude. Like, shh, don't talk about that. Um, hey, but you're still here. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's dope. That's facts, though. Um, Listen, so let me tell you. That isn't, isn't that, isn't that hip hop, though? 100 percent 100 percent and you know i think over the years shout out to our program director shout out to our station manager and uh, the rest of the staff uh over the years you know i want to i want to think that they have come to really understand us and that's that's all i want to say that's all, how well, I listen, let me just say shout out to them and to all people involved in community and college radio because you guys are the last vestige on broadcast of originality, no of kidding. personality, of authenticity. Um, that's all gone in you know major networks, major network radio, major network television. It's so important to keep college and community radio stations going and for those who run them to recognize that they're the last bastion of freedom and they're needed. That flame has to keep lit. And I should say, just to clarify, um, for the purposes of the war on stupid, stupid isn't about somebody's intellectual capacity because you can't help that. Uh, stupid is people who are knowingly operating beneath their intellectual capacity just to aggravate other people. Yep. I can't believe I'm having this conversation. I wish I could say it, but with Ed the MF sock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like seriously, this is this is super super cool. So from much music uh, to FU network, speaking of networking and broadcasting, that's where you guys are now currently on, right? Yeah, Leanna and I are building uh, a channel online 
to recapture that magic, that honesty, that originality of uh, what much music was back in the day. Uh, it's going to be about music. It's going to be about politics, current events, uh, video games, uh, entertainment, all kinds of things. And it's called Fun, the FU Network. And you can find it at FUNetwork.tv. It's in preview right now. New shows coming up soon. Nice. That's, That's perfect. Dope. That's really exciting. Super exciting. Now, now I got to ask you, Ed, I want to know, and Liana, Kay, how did you guys join forces? It, it was just the universe colliding. <laughs> just, That's so poetic. I knew, I knew wow. it was something slick. I, knew I don't it was think something. I don't think Ed could put it more romantic than that. <laughs> okay, I was about to say it involved a bar fight, which was true, and I was the one what? that got into a bar fight. Oh, oh! Shut the front door. The, that Ed, am I lying? No, she. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she told the guy, you know, step back, step back. He didn't step back. She pushed him right through the door of the manager's office, off the stage, and. Uh, that's no good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was uh, that was pretty impressive. Um, yeah, we. Uh, I think the, the universe brought us together because uh, I represent a certain. You know, I, I experience the world through a male lens. Liana experiences it through the lens of someone who's female. And men and women experience the world differently. Uh, white people, people of color, experience the world differently. Uh, straight and, and gay, uh, transgender, we all experience the world differently. And it's important to make sure that we get that the vision and the, the experience of everybody. Because I'm sick and tired of the, the, the white bread stuff that we're fed. I'm even sick of the white bread stuff we're fed about people of color on television. Because so many of those TV shows uh, that star uh, people of color, you could easily put a white person in that role and it would make no difference you know it's uh there's some good shows on now though yeah for sure there's there some is. good shows lots of programming so you guys are on the war on stupid tour it kicks off tonight in toronto and it goes through all the way to march 15th in windsor you guys are going to be in ottawa tomorrow night at mavericks what can ottawa what can ottawa expect from you guys uh you know what kind of energy is is because i'm super curious and i'm going to do my best to see if i can uh come and say hello to you guys yeah we're going to come out and check the show for sure but what can right, ottawa well, what could ottawa expect it's a lot of audience participation so we're going to kind of read the mood of the room meaning we're going to flat out ask how political people want us to be that night because it's been kind of a weird week in ottawa oh, yeah Wait, yeah <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh yeah, my we're gosh. Gonna, I mean, we talk about, uh, you know, we talk about stupid in media, stupid in politics, stupid in uh, outrage culture, internet culture. Uh, we just try to, you know, right or left, we're going to sure, spill your Kool-Aid. Guys, and, both uh, of you, be sure to show up with an open mind and a willingness to laugh. I yeah. mean, the last show, there was also a fairly lengthy bit on Transformers cartoons. Yeah, stuff just happens. We're not like people who go up there with a microphone and have this rehearsed 15 minutes. Our show is very, very free form. It, it's hip hop, you know, mm. it's in the moment. Mm -hmm. It's the spirit of what's happening. And, uh, you know, we're not, we're not stuck on format. So each one of our shows is different than the last. It's like Freestyle. it's like every handful of bits and bites is a different a different mouthful. It's, it's natural. Bite. It's natural. Yeah. It's natural. Because yeah. a lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I a like that ish. Because a lot of the a lot of the new listeners, a lot of new viewers are young, so you're gonna see a lot of the new faces. A lot that, of new, how is the new how is the new generation uh, responding to you guys? Because I'm telling you right now. You know, if pe people are tuned in right now and they're like, oh my God. I'm telling you Alive right now. Live and thrill I was, have Ed the Sock. People but, message us. They're like, who's Ed the Sock? I'm like, really? You don't know who Ed the Sock is? So people don't. Well, really listen, if, uh, if people are under, I guess, 25 or so, then yeah, I understand they wouldn't have heard of us. Um, they can find, I mean, there's lots online. If they're curious, they, they'll get a real idea of what we're about. But you know what? I am, uh, I, I get tired of people dumping on millennials. Because the people dumping on millennials are usually Generation X. And hey, Generation X, who the hell do you think raised millennials? Uh -huh. if, you got any problems, if you've got problems with millennials, take a long look in the mirror. Because it was you guys that raised this generation. Uh -huh. So all these complaints, it's not like you guys were raised by wolves. It's, you know, millennials were raised by parents. And parents have a tremendous influence. So if parents don't like what they're seeing, well, it's their own damn fault. Preach. I'm a brand. I'm a brand new, brand new parent myself, and shoot. yeah, we, we we might need to start a, po a podcast at the sock. Uh, yeah, we might need to join. <laughs> <We> might, 
<laughs> and Leanne. I'm, I'm with it. But yeah, once again, thank you guys for calling in. The show was tomorrow night at Mavericks. Let all the listeners know where they can get in contact with Ed the Sock and Leanna K. Well, uh, go to edthesock.com for ticket information. Uh, on Twitter, I'm at Ed the Sock. And uh, on Facebook, The Real Ed the Sock, the FU Network, and Instagram, Ed the Sock. And Leanna. I'm Red Leanna K on Twitter. And I love my Twitter, so please send the tweet. You're, are you, you're, you're more of a, a tweeter than a. Instagrammer? Well, like my my YouTube channel, uh, just Leanna K on YouTube. I talk mainly about video games, so Twitter is pretty much the place for that. Instagram, I just post cat pictures. I cannot get into the gram. <laughs> I, I am not a selfish hey, person. I'm going to share a cat picture with you then, Leanne. I'm going to follow you after the show, and I'm going to send I'm, a cat picture for you. I'm Daily Momo Cat oh on Instagram. Gosh. It's all just pictures of my cats and dogs. Oh, I'm on my Thrillers on his Twitter game, so we'll make sure to follow you and hit you up for show. Nice. Thanks hey, for if you guys drop by the show tomorrow, you oh. make sure you come by afterwards. Uh, step in before the uh, VIP meet and greet. Tell them your uh, media and that we talk and that we gave permission for you to come in and say hi. Yeah, for sure, Ed. Respect, respect. Respect, brother. Thanks, Leanna. Yeah, respect Thanks, to you Leanna. Too. Thanks. It's, yeah. nice, it's nice for you Thanks for you guys to call. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. Good luck hey, on the rest of the tour. Yeah, one love. All one right. Love. Thank you. Word out. All right. We're going to keep the show going.